everybody, welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. My name is Mike, I'm your host for today, and I've got another great scale model kit that I know you're going to enjoy. The BK4818 scale general store model kit is the perfect addition to any model diorama, slot car track, or train layout. It comes complete with three sheets for your building and the plethora of accessories and added details, one bag of landscape moss, and two ultra signposts. You can find all of this model kit's dimensions in the comments below or at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model, a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is unpack all of our materials and set aside any of the accessories. There are three sheets to this general store, so let's get started by cutting out all of our materials. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is grab our first sheet and our trusty pair of scissors. And we're gonna go ahead and just start cutting along all of the edges using long, smooth cuts. That gives you better control What do you say we speed things up just a little bit? Could you pick me up some milk, please? All right, now that all of our materials have been cut out, it's time to score what needs to be scored, touch up all of our pieces with our washable markers, and when that's all completed, it will be time to assemble our general store. For our first step in prepping our building for its assembly is we are going to start scoring. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to score down the middle of each of these signs. You're going to want to, for all three of these doors, you're going to want to cut all the way through on the top and on the right hand side uh, for both the front and the back door. For these deliveries only door, you're going to want to cut all the way through the top and then score down the middle. For this illusion room, there's some gray lines down the center here. You're going to want to score those. That's going to go in front of the front door. And then we're going to leave this one by itself. You're going to want to score down the middle here and then across and down these, these sides. For the dumpster, you're going to want to score across the middle as well as each of the lines here and then score down the awning and this awning as well. So I'm gonna do uh, these two doors just to show you what that should look like. And then we will be ready to touch up our pieces with our markers. Just like that. So go ahead and finish all of the scoring and we'll see you back here on the other side. Okay, for this next step with touching up our pieces with our markers, you're going to want to grab the piece you want to start with along with its corresponding color. Now you're going to want to take the side of your marker as opposed to the edge and just run it along the sides. Now the reason we do this is it gives your kit a far better authentic and realistic look. And you wanna make sure also that you're doing the score lines as well. Pretty much just get rid of any of that unsightly white. Go ahead and finish 
doing that with all of your pieces and then it will be time to start assembling our general store. Okay, so the first step in putting together our general store is to attach the illusion room. So you want to take the one that is actually scored and put it right in front of the Bucks welcomes you. And then you're going to want to take this second one and pretty much just put it in the center here of the back so that it's going to cover both of these doors. And if you want to use some tape to uh, keep them in place while you are gluing them down, have at it. Then we are going to want to take our sides. This is the back. And go ahead and glue them down like that. And there's our general store building. And all that we have to do now is the roof and the awning. And then we'll get started on our details. Okay, there is a little bit of prep work before we can put our awning and roof on. You wanna take these little vents and you're gonna to wanna to put them uh, on these four spots by putting just a little dab of glue, letting it dry just a tad bit, and then lightly tapping it down on its vent spot. You wanna do that with the rest of them. For the awning, you wanna take the back and glue that on. And then after the roof, it goes right here in the center between the two lights. And there our General Bucks store is complete. Now that our General Store has been completed, it's time to go ahead and put on the multitude of accessories that come with this model. All right, so there is some prep work that is gonna to need to go into our details before they all go on to the building. You wanna take this Bucks General Store sign, glue it on the top two corners, and then take the hardware sign and put that over the top. And then you're going to want to glue it to the back of the building just like that. You wanna take this back of the sign, go ahead and glue that onto the back of that before that goes into being the front of the building. 
for the dumpster. I want to just glue that corner together. You want to take the trash and glue that in. And then for the lid, you want to glue inside and close that down. And then that will go onto the back. For the sign here, you're going to want to again glue the inside of the corners together so that it stays. Take the back of the sign and glue that on. You're going to take these stands, make sure they're folded and glued in. And then the sign just sits right in the middle of them. For the trash cans, you want to go ahead and roll them. You can use your X-Acto knife or hobby knife to aid you in, in rolling them. And you want to go ahead and glue them together. And then the trash just sits on top. So let's go ahead and throw that all together and then we'll be ready to put it all onto our building. Alrighty, now that our prep work has been completed, it's time to go ahead and throw everything on our building and then include some landscaping. The BK4818 Bucks General Store Scale Model Kit is both fun and easy for any hobbyist to put together regardless of their experience level. The two illusion rooms and extra store wall details give this model that extra authenticity and reminds you of every small town ma and pa shop. You can find this model as well as any of the other amazing photo reel scale model kits at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. And that concludes another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I can't wait to see you back here next time.